I'm sitting opposite a man. He knows nothing. He talks all the time. The result is he's a trenchant buffoon. He has no idea how to present television shows. He looks ridiculous in that fashion wear. He swans around all the time hoping that people will recognise him, when in fact nobody's even remotely interested. Uh, he's taking up enough time on this show already and he hasn't even opened his mouth. Darkus Hag. Got, uh, sorry, that's the introduction to Robert Elms. Sorry, do you know Robert Elms? I've just read out the introduction to Robert Elms. Heroic and uncharacteristic restraint from Darkus Howe, a formidable civil rights campaigner and broadcaster. Back in the 70s, Howe was more than a match for the Met when he and others were charged over disturbances in West London following police raids on a restaurant. Officers told the Old Bailey they'd seen Howe orchestrating a crowd to throw stones at them. Where did you see all of this? We were in an observation van. I said, bring the observation van. The lawyer said, Doctor, said, please, exhibits are a two-edged sword. I said, I have nothing to lose. Bring the van. So they bring the van, and there were these slits at the back. There were four policemen seeing the same thing, seeing the same thing from the same slit. So I measured it quietly while the judge and they were wrong beside. And went home, cut out a piece of paper, full scap, the size of the slit, recall the witness, and said, tell me, how oh, four of you could see the same thing at the same time through that slit. He said, my eye was here, Reed's eye was here, Roger's eye was here, and the next eye was here. So it was your face. And that is what eventually broke the spirit of the prosecution. Darkus absolutely, by defending himself, was the star of the show out of the nine defendants. And uh, with, you know, with Shakespeare quotations and all sorts of things, he stood up in the dock and was extremely impressive. Aquas was a, a fearless warrior um, in the struggle against racial injustice in this country. Uh, people talking about um, um, civil rights movement. There was no civil rights movement in this country. There, have been a, there were anti-racist struggles were being waged. And Aquas was at the heart of that. He was at the center of it. No one got a free pass from Darkus Howe, who went on to be a high-profile and punchy broadcaster. Being an A-lister was no guarantee of an easy ride, as Latoya Jackson found out. The other story I want to tell you is about a family of nine children who had talent, but made it to the top because of terror and violence from parents driven by ambition. But he met his match in comedian Joan Rivers on Radio 4. Since black offends Joan, I will make black, it... Black, wait, no, just stop right now. Black does not offend me. How dare you? How dare you say that? Can we just say that you don't think Joan is a racist and then perhaps we can move You're on? damn right. I, I don't, will not I don't, continue. I don't know whether she's a racist or not. I don't care. You said the word black offends me. That's the I stupidest meet, thing I've ever heard. Normally, I don't, wouldn't ever meet but you in my you, life. No, nor would I please choose to meet you. Howe was in demand as a commentator on issues of race and identity, whether discussing symbols of Britishness. I love England. I like being here. I like living here. But I'm not a patriot. You could like the country. I love the countryside. I get okay. along beautifully with English people. We are part of uh, a, okay. a space. But I am, I am not patriot. Or the background to riots in 2011. Did you have a sense that this was going to happen? Absolutely. Why? I have a grandson who is 15 and who cannot count the number of times he was stopped and searched. Ah. I think Darkus, in a way, more than anybody else, acted as an intermediary. He still had the trust and confidence of the black community, but to some extent, at least, he had the trust and confidence of, of the police as well. Utterly unbiddable, his own man, Darkus Howe wouldn't let anyone off the hook, no matter how celebrated. We read the nation's headline, Tiger Woods, I am not black. Just as we were coming to grips with our new hero. Hang in there, brothers.